Okay, we're out here at Hot Springs County. I'm just talking to the guy who takes care of these guys. But they just fed these guys these things they call cakes. I call them pellets. Um, these are our new bull there turning around. We got two new bulls we just swapped out. Uh, we were having problems with one of the, uh, one of the new ones. Uh, you can see that other one pushing people around. The bulls will sit there and push everybody out. But anyway, they, they got these cakes that, uh, to me, they're like little pellets. And then, uh, they got, uh, I think it's like molasses holding all these different grains together. But these guys go nuts. He honks that horn. They'll be out here in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, see if I can move this in closer yeah there we go sorry about the I'm trying to get used to this new phone but anyway that guy looking at us there that's the tallest and the heaviest are the bulls you can also tell by the horns okay and you don't want to get out of your car I'm in my car you see and you don't I mean these guys are kind of domesticated compared to Yellowstone but you don't want to uh, pet the fluffy cows, as Glenn Wood says. So anyway, you can see this is probably the only place you can drive through uh, and see the buffalo too. There's a road up here, the one way I go. I usually stay up in there, up on top of that hill there. I don't know if you can tell, up that red cliff. But uh, we got different spots here. Um, kind of want to drive a little slower than that past these guys because i've seen them do some stuff man you got to be careful with these buffalo uh, I've, I've heard of them jumping up in the back of trucks i've heard of them getting in their horns inside of doors and ripping doors off of pickups so you know and these are the domesticated ones when i was younger we had a bigger herds right now uh, let's see, we're at the 13, 13, uh, cows and two bulls, or well, it's 11 cows, two bulls, and, uh, a little slower, well, I kind of help take care of these guys, people drive by too fast, man, don't be doing that stuff. Or would you like to stand out here and have somebody drive fast, fast by you? You know, think about it. But anyway, for the most part, I get along with these guys. Now, with the herds kind of mixed up, most of them know me. They, they have a real strong sense of smell. But their eyesight isn't that great. And their hearing's really good. So, probably things that you didn't know about buffalo, but you were afraid to ask. Anyway, I'm always up here in a park. You can always come up and ask me any questions if you want. Like I said, I'm usually up there. There's like a one-way cul-de-sac right up. Boom, there at the end of where that fence is. Me and my dog hang out up there. We listen to talk radio and stuff in the morning till about 10 o'clock. Hope you enjoy the video. It's Grandpa Rich. Level 9 local guide on... Uh, Google Maps. I'm I'll be 74 here in a while. I'm getting old. I forget shit.